So 95% of my customers were in the US and uh, I was I was trying to look for a fulfillment center. What I came down to, what I narrowed down to was ship up. Uh, but I would like to hear if one of you would have a recommendation or if one of you would have any experiences with any of the warehouses or fulfillment centers within the within the US that I could possibly use. And uh, and what what revenue would you guys possibly transition into uh, you know shipping from like different countries to warehousing within the uh, United States? Ship up is great if you are you know doing it on volume. If you could do at least maybe ten orders per day, I would recommend using uh, Ship Bob at like a minimum of ten a day. We're doing about forty. So I mean, if you're saying ten plus, then then maybe I should maybe Ship Bob isn't a bad option. Uh, I was also recommended uh, shipping by yourself as well. But then the thing is, in Canada, like the I think the rates are like a lot worse or higher than in the United States. I'm not sure exactly. That's why that's why it didn't really seem like an optimal solution to just uh, fulfill myself, even though I was super interested in doing so. Yeah, I understand. Uh, in your current situation, uh, ShipBob might be the best answer for you if you ship worldwide. Because ShipBob, you can distribute your inventory to multiple different fulfillment centers. Some in Europe who have like five to seven day shipping uh, to European countries and you know fast shipping to other countries in that area of the world. And then you can also have fulfillment centers, you know, have inventory sitting in fulfillment centers in like California, for example, along with like New York. You can essentially have it spread out, have a specific amount of inventory in each fulfillment center based off of how much volume you do in other countries. And yeah. the benefit of Chip Bob is that instead of, for example, if you are holding all your inventory in the United States and you ship something to the United Kingdom, for example, it yeah. probably cost you about 50 to twenty dollars with yes. USPS first class mail, and it will take a long time. Instead of by having inventory in you know a European fulfillment, uh, uh, what's it called fulfillment center by ship Bob, you get five dollar shipping to you know basically almost everywhere in that area of the world. Exactly, yeah, uh, which is very beneficial. So I, I think you should run with ship Bob, but I highly recommend ordering more. Like check and see if you can handle the price down with your uh, with your supplier or manufacturer and see how low you can get your cost of goods and ship it by sea don't ship it by plane because that will drive up your cost of goods you want to improve your margin and improve the customer experience you know so yeah. highly recommend you do that i was going to say another option is there are suppliers within china so e-packet is usually around 14 to 20 days but what people don't know is there's different qualities of e-packet um you could get this e-packet that is as long as 30 days, but there are e-packet that's anywhere from around five to seven days. So okay. what some people do is they go ahead and buy in bulk and they ship it to a fulfillment center, a 3PL within China that can offer five to seven day e-packet and the shipping will be still pretty cost. It'll be anywhere from like one to $2 worldwide but obviously when you sell to the u.s audience they're expecting that two-day amazon prime shipping and exactly. that's sort of when you want to go ahead and use something like ship up um, but that's another option um, for you know worldwide customers use a fulfillment center in china just for worldwide orders and then use exactly. ship up for your u.s orders